for true racing purists, one event rises above all others. Nah, too muddy. Nah, too many mullets. Come on, get serious. Yes, the Indianapolis 500, home of the Indy Racing League and Codemasters upcoming racing sim, Indy Car Series. Everything looks smooth for Scott. This is serious racing. You're strapped into a 650 horsepower beast that goes 0 to 100 in 3 seconds. When you're cruising at over 200 miles per hour, each turn needs to be flawless. That right-hand wall can be a stern taskmaster. Punishment for sloppy driving range for the humiliation of watching your opponents blow by you is a spinning, fiery death. And don't let the inherent ovalness of the track fool you. Each track has its own unique traits. Beware of the unique dog leg in turn two. And you must fine tune your car to fit each race. Phoenix is a short track and you will be running with the high downforce short oval wing configuration. Gearheads, prepare to be dazzled by the sheer number of adjustments you can make to your car. You can change the angle of the front and rear wings, tweak the springs, fiddle with the gear ratio, modify the camber, lower the ride height, increase the acceleration, modulate the tow end, <gasps> adjust the dampers and control the pressure in each tire separately. <sighs> Indy Car Series promises to be a field day for sim fans, with more than two dozen licensed drivers and cars and a full season's worth of real world tracks, culminating in the mother of all races, the Indianapolis 500. Along the way, expect blistering speed and accurate physics. God, don't you just love physics? Indy Car Series burns rubber into a store near you very soon.